Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for another episode of this Pentagon Challenge. We are now all about the Copper Libertadores. Last time you were with me, you would have seen us take on River Plate, the best team that Argentina has to offer. We are now in the semi-finals of the first competition, the first trophy that we need to win and we're taking on a familiar foe, a Brazilian opposition. Let's get into it. <laughs> So guys, as I mentioned in the intro, you were with us for the last uh, game against River Plate in the Copa Libertadores quarterfinal second leg, and we ran out 3-0 victors there. Since then, as I mentioned, we, we'd already lost to Palmeiras in the uh, Brazilian Cup in the semi-final in the first leg. Uh, we lost that one 1-0. We played them in the second leg. We drew 2-2. Um, I will say we adva uh, they advanced. They took on um, Internacional, and... Uh, mm, Wipe the floor with them. They beat them 7-0. So Palmeiras are Brazilian Cup holders again. We then carried on. We lost to Palmeiras again in the league. That it, They just seem to be a team that I cannot beat, um, which is why I'm ecstatic that they have already been knocked out of the Copa Libertadores. Since then, we move forward. Um, we are facing uh, Internacional. They knocked out um, They knocked out Gremio in their uh, quarterfinal. Um, it means nothing because they're basically identical in terms of their league position. They're very close to each other. Um, since then, though, in the league, we've been doing pretty well. Uh, we've dropped some points against Cruzeiro. We lost to Corinthians. But other than that, we've been pretty spectacular in the league. Uh, the month of October being very good. 2-0, 6-0, 4-0, 3-0, 4-1, another 1-0. Uh, we've been kind of steamroller in teams, as you would expect for a club the size of Santos. We took on... Um, the familiar foe. It seems like we play them an awful lot in this save, in cups and stuff like that. So uh, we took them on away in the first leg. We won 3-1. Uh, Luca, Fernando Rodriguez and Santino, uh, Santino, Santiago Lopez with the goals. We looked pretty good. Um, it was quite touch and go for a small period of time. We did go a goal down and then we battled back and managed to win the, t uh, win the game 3-1. So we're in a very good spot going into today's game uh, at home. Uh, at the at the Villa Bel Belmiro, um, we're looking we're looking in a good spot. I believe away goals count. Away goals are used, so we've scored three of those. So we are in a very very positive position in terms of the Copa Libertadores. If we go into things, it is looking like we are going to be playing Flamengo in the final. They have toppled Sao Paulo, and if we do get there, Flamengo in. Well, it's going to be a very, very difficult final should we make it there. They are a very, very good team, Flamengo. So it'll be interesting to see if one, we get there. And if two, we manage to topple them. In terms of the league campaign, when I top by a decent little margin, you know, we've got eight points on top of Palmera. Some of their, they've, they've slowly started dropping games. Um, they've now picked up five losses. They've lost four away from home and one at home. So they've lost to Sao Paulo, Gremio, Goas, and CRB. They've also drawn some games, both of Fogo. Um, basically, they're not very good away from home, actually. If we look at their schedule, it's kind of gone really wrong for them since since around here. After, after they played and beat us, it's kind of gone a bit all over the place for them. Um, lost to, uh, losing to CRB is really bad. Losing to Goas is really bad. Losing to Gremio is bad. Sao Paulo is not too bad. Sao Paulo are a strong powerhouse side. Um, they have picked up the uh, the Brazilian Cup, so maybe this is a decent season for them. Who knows? They are out of the um, Copa Libertadores. I th I think they're my main my main opposition in terms of the league. Flamengo are a game back, uh, but they're on fifty nine points. So even if they do win their game in hand, they will still be a few points behind Palmeiras. It would be fantastic for us who retain this league title. However, that is not what we are here for. We are all about the Copper Libertadores. So we will go into today's fixtures. Palmeiras are also playing in the league. They are playing Ponte Preta. So that's probably a gimme three points, especially considering they are at home. This is the team selection then. Ivan in goal. Um, then what is this dude's name? I can't remember. Gaston. Ivan, Gaston, Evandro, Nathan, Andre um, uh, Goey, Mateus Jesus, uh, Walter Leonardo, Molko, Lopez, and Rodriguez. We've got some very good options. I will say, where is the main man? Where is the main man? 
Uh, Bobadilla, he, he needs a rest because he has been absolutely carrying us in the league. If you look at him, for someone who ha actually doesn't have a c the consistency trait, he is very, very consistent. He scored 39 goals and got five assists in 49 appearances in all competitions this season. He's either footed. He's an absolute beast, guys. And to be honest, he I don't think he'll be here too much longer. He's he's just got a superb return, but he is knackered. He is carrying us in the league. So we need Rodriguez to get the business done. I've managed to somehow turn Ivan around. He now wants to stay at the club. He is no longer transfer listed and he has kept 18 clean sheets in 29 games for us since returning from Spurs. So this is the team. We hold a 3-1 lead with the three away goals. You'd like to think from this position that we would advance through, but you never want to count your chickens too early. So we we cannot allow complacency to undo all the good work done in the first leg. Go out there and treat this as if you're starting from scratch. We say well done to the boys. We move forward. We take to the field with Copper Libertadores glory on our minds. The opposition are matching us for formation 4-2-3-1 for them as well. They need to come and actually attack us because the three away goals are just massive now. They need that. That means they need to at least score three and hope that we don't score. Um, and this this Santos team scores a decent amount of goals, guys. Um, Molko advancing forward the young South African goes to Gaston. Ball comes across. Walter Leonardo hits that one into the side net and goes behind for a goal kick. Um, early signs that we are probably the better team, um, as you would expect, given the league positions, the respective league positions of both sides. We are uh, relatively clear at the top. Look at Molko go. That's a nice pass as well. Has to be Fernando Rodriguez. That is all set up by the young South African Molko. Um, I'm hoping that <laughs> I'm hoping that he can give me an insight into what I need to do in South Africa. I can find a decent player from South Africa, as you can see here as we will need to take on Africa in this save at some point. But Rodriguez there, firing us a goal ahead after 16 minutes, um, basically gives us safe passage through to the final against Flamengo. It's interesting to see, actually, that the amount of Brazilian teams, obviously all of the four semi-finalists in this competition were Brazilian. Um, it's very interesting to see because, obviously, one... Brazil and Argentina are the best two nations in South America. Brazil is still number one in terms of the league ratings. However, I think a majority of it is down to the amount of games that we have, or we as Brazilian clubs, have already played to get to this point. Um, we looked at um, River Plate, ooh, crossbar. We looked at River Plate last time out, and uh, they'd only played like eight games of their league campaign at that point. And we played something like 40 games. So the team cohesion and all the stuff like that was definitely there. And I think it makes such, such a big, big difference. So we go into halftime. We are 1-0 up. We are basically through at this point. 4-1 up on the tie. They need at least three goals to uh, take this to just extra time. Um, and if we score one more, then that is pretty much game set and match. Uh, considering... In the first 50 minutes, they've only had two shots on target. Uh, two shots, none on target, apologies. Uh, with 40% possession, it's not looking great for uh, for our Brazilian compatriots there. Uh, we are not really doing a great deal either. So we will make a change. Uh, let's take off Santiago Lopez. Uh, let's bring on Luca. He's been relatively decent for us recently. Uh, Walter Leonardo will take off. We'll bring on veteran Nico Lopez. And uh, Mateus Jesus, we will make a change and bring on Danilo. So we'll make all three subs there. Just keep everything fresh. Obviously, we are still fighting on two fronts. We need to, if we finish this season with the Copa Libertadores and the league title, what a way to end things and move on in our journey. Um, It doesn't look like the opposition are going to give us anything here. This has just been a game of me talking with not really a great deal of gameplay in the background. 20 shots for us, 6 on target, 2 XG. Another clean sheet it looks like for Ivan. They finally got some shots on target, but that is all she wrote. Mateus Jesus makes his 150th appearance for Santos. Nico Lopez makes his 425th appearance. And... Uh, 
we move on, guys. We move on. Santos go through to the final. Well done. It is the area where we were expected to get. We, we were expected to get to the final this year. So I'm absolutely delighted in the fact that we have done it. The first leg was the deciding factor, I will agree. Uh, Santos will receive 1.55 million for that. The final is at the Maracanã, So that is going to be very interesting. Wait. Is it? Is it two legs? Or is it one leg? Copa Libertadores final. One leg. At. Is it at Flamengo? At Flamengo's ground. Hmm. That doesn't strike me as fair. But okay. We have the game against Flamengo. It has been confirmed. We will be playing them in the final of the Copa Libertadores, which will take place on Saturday, the 21st of November. So not actually that far away. And to be honest, guys, that is before the end of the season. So I'm going to get my head down. We're going to have these four league matches before the final. And I will bring you guys back for the final. Will it be the crowning achievement in this save so far? Will we be able to move away from South America and find our new challenge? Or will it be another season in Brazil? But until next time, guys, don't forget to drop a like down below if you are enjoying this content. And subscribe if you are new around here for some reason. It's really at the business end of this season in Brazil. Make sure you hit that subscription button and ring that bell so you're told every time that I upload a video in this series. Because you're not going to want to miss the next one. I can almost guarantee it. Until next time guys, take care and I'll see you guys soon.